all viewers of this video. This recipe features use of Ebonics, foul language, <laughs> strange epithets, <laughs> lots of hand gestures. Please don't think that I talk like that all the time. Gordon Ramsay gets away with it. It's all good. I love him. She's so lying. She talks like this all the time. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> but blame that raw Mexico City influence. It's that haterade. Mm -hmm. Get some haterade in your life. Once you visit Raw Mexico City, y'all gonna be talking like this all day, every day. <laughs> if y'all are children, don't watch this video. No, no kids. Unless you watch it with your parents and they say it's okay. And you got some f***ed up parents. Yeah, you do! Maybe they want to make, like, the Kool-Aid version. Virgin Haterade. Virgin Haterade. Y'all use Kool-Aid cough syrup. Pay us! Alright everyone, welcome to Raw Mexico City slash I Heart Big Flavor Special Edition video blog. Um, I'm here with Karima Kari Chaluf, uh, chef, food blogger, fashionista, visual artist, comic writer. What don't you do? I'm pretty sure I have another part-time job in my sleep. <laughs> You might, be, you might be Jamaican. You might be Jamaican on them jobs. Be. And today we, we've made Haterade for you. It is a special drink that uh, just sort of came up out of a conversation. We hear that word all the time. Haterade. Uh, Haterade. Y'all be drinking the Haterade, everybody says. I don't know if it's an actual drink that is called Haterade. So I thought, why don't we make one that is super good for you, and then you will love to hate it. <laughs> Kari, why don't you go ahead and run down some of the ingredients in Haterade so that people at home, uh, the haters and the big flavor lovers, can put it together for themselves. This was based on a uh, traditional sangria, which usually has um, a bottle of wine, and you will put things like cut fruit in it, sometimes even sweeteners, um, you can put in ice, all kinds of different stuff, sort of like a big fruit punch, and you let the fruit marinate in the wine. So what we did to start off is um, got some fruits and cut it up. There will be a lot of citrus fruits in it because we want it to be super summery. The fruit will turn a funky color, but you know what? Don't be hating, be appreciated. <laughs> Somebody's giving you free fruit, okay? I mean, seriously. Yeah, it's summertime, it's hot, you got a cold drink. Good That's stuff. right, there's citrus, there's vitamin C in that. That's right. <laughs> huh. It's good for you. So I've got uh, lemons, limes, oranges, and uh, I even put kiwis and lychee in there as well because I thought that would be really funky and it would give some extra flavor. It'd be really fun to chew on as well. Uh, so I marinated those overnight in uh, a couple of things. A barefoot Chardonnay, which is a Californian one. Um, it's white. There are types of sangria that use white wine instead of red, and those are called sangria blanca. So this one here is actually a gold medal winner in a 2008 Riverside International Wine Competition, oh, which you, is great. You don't have to tell me about the barefoot. I know all about it. The barefoot, the yellow tail. <laughs> um, and, and I guess the beauty of it, too, is that barefoot is not expensive at all. Like it's you not. Can, you can get it at your local grocery store for a handful of dollars. If you're in America. America. <laughs> if you're in Canada, you gotta pay 13 Canadian dollars in a beaver pelt for this. And this drink was not expensive to make serve a bunch of people. Next we have an unnamed sports drink. That's right, we ain't putting your name out there for free. Yeah, y'all ain't paying me, I ain't giving you free advertising, all right? This is a, uh, a grape flavor, but what was strange about it was that it was actually blue, so I decided to add something to it to make it purple like hater suits. Right, right. Now, now, why don't you tell us a little bit about the functionality of using, why we choose huh. uh, Aiderade or our aid or whatever kind of aid that we use um, with this drink. A lot of people are good at pounding back the booze. I'm not one of those people. That's okay. I made my peace with it. But sometimes they think that they can drink wine like a m Wine happens to make people get stupid faced real fast and uh, oftentimes they'll just wake up with a hangover. Way worse than they would with other stuff that they're used to drinking. The key to not getting a crazy pounding headache and a hangover is to stay hydrated. If I ever have a drink, I'm double fisting it with like two glasses of water. So I thought, if other people want to have a drink, or have more than one drink, the key is to add stuff that will make them feel good. So we've got water and electrolytes and whatever the f*** is in there. It's and got electrolytes! Electrolytes! It's like and Brondo. <laughs> And I also added some juice as well, so it is good for you. This is uh, berry and pomegranate juice from Oasis. I love Oasis juices because they are 100% juice. <laughs> Don't be getting that fruit cocktail stuff. I hate that shit. It's like 10% juice, 90% sugar and water. Don't cheap out, bitches. 
awesome. This bottle was like a dollar seventy five, just generic juice. You now, can add that too, and it works perfectly. But make my, sure it says juice. For my people's back around the way, you know, you can get some juices, but if you if you slumming <laughs> like that, you know, go ahead and get yourself a Nantucket nectar. But the reason why we chose this one is actually because it's a little darker. It added to the color mm. to give it that nice royal purple, that deep purple. That's royalty how many bleeps are we at? We've got the fruit marinating in all three of these. It was a full bottle of each um, in this picture here. You can also add sweeteners to it as well. I often go to alternative and natural sweeteners. I have here a bottle of agave syrup. I got this at Whole Foods. It was about 10 bucks. I think a product of uh, Mexico. Raw Mexico City! Raw Mexico City! <laughs> you can roll the R's, this is actually 25% um, sweeter than sugar, which is great because you use less of it. It's not refined either. You can find organic versions, you can find raw versions. The beauty of the agave is that it won't take your Nana's feet. Yeah, no <laughs> diabetes for y'all. It's full of good things. There's all these antioxidants, there's vitamins. Um, wine is good for you as well, in moderation, friends. Drink responsibly. Friends don't let friends get f***. Oh. No haterade and driving, but this is definitely the perfect summer drink for mm -hmm. kicking back and hating on shit. Yeah, don't forget to give somebody a hug after you have a glass of this. <laughs> you can hate on as much shit as you want, but it's important to love. Assembly, super duper simple. Take mint leaves if you like, you can use basil or whatever else. Give it some love, put it in the cup, pour it in. Whoop. I ain't getting no fruit. What is this business? Yeah, no, you gotta... It's too big for the pitcher. Always wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> no, she didn't. Ha! I did, and you saw where my hands have been. It's okay. If you want to, you can add other funky stuff to it. If you want it to stay cold, you're just hanging out, having a good time. Let them know what time it is. I know! It's like 7 o'clock already? son. So what we have here are a couple of trays of fruit that uh, I cut up and froze, or even just froze whole. Have them into small bite-sized pieces. Got some mangoes, we have nectarines, strawberries, blueberries, um, dark cherries, seedless grapes. You don't want me spitting that shit out, son. <laughs> nah, son. <laughs> we also have pineapple here, too. Wash fruit before you use it. And always take the stickers off. Don't be a sticker lever. I've seen somebody <laughs> with stickers in their teeth. You know they stupid. You are using fruit that's whole, and you're going to have to cut it up. Um, or even just leave it as is. You're going to want to pat it dry, wipe it down, and then freeze it like this. You're going to want to make sure that things aren't piled together in clumps as well. You want to have them evenly spread out. And parchment paper is really great for just taking it all and not having to clean anything after. Oh, uh, well, I'm just going to study this for you. <laughs> this gets used basically like ice cubes. Leave it in bowls. You can separate it by type if you want, and your friends can just pick and choose. Make sure they wash their hands. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So just take whatever you want and just toss it in your drink. You can add other stuff to it, like um, satchels of like ginger and other fresh herbs or spicy type things that you can add to the drink and take it out before you put it into the pitcher if you want, or even add um, a loose tea to it and put it through like a French press strainer. You can also do fun things like marinate the fruit in the wine for even more than a day. Maybe even two, maybe even three. Maybe so when your friends three. eat it, they get hammed so mm -hmm. fast. They're like, oh, this fruit's really good. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. And hate, so, hate, 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 hate. <laughs> don't forget your cameras, kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's going to be plenty of fun. Yeah, so this is this is pretty simple. It's, it's easy, it's fun, right there. it's good for you. Don't forget to share, or they'll all be hating you. Oh, yeah, we heart that. We heart the big <laughs> flavor, everybody. Quick recap. You know, we got the, the low-cost barefoot wine, yellowtail, whatever you can get your hands on. Make sure it's the good Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. uh, some kind of electrolyte-filled beverage. All right? A little juice to darken it. Purple is the best. That's the official color of the Raw Mexico City Haterade. You, know, you have a little bit of syrup there, but if you don't care about your grandma nana feet, then go ahead and uh, put some sugar in there. If you don't care to add sweetener, trust us, the fruit really makes this thing go, and it tastes awesome regardless. This actually doesn't have any. I'm counting on my fruits to keep this good. <laughs> that's that happy. That's a happy <laughs> mint. And there you go. That's it. This is just really a basic formula, how to put it together. Thank you very much for joining us. Whatever it is we making, don't be hating, okay? <laughs>